What's going on Ape Army? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tyler and I want to talk about two key things in this video. I want to go over personally what helps me be patient when it comes to AMC because I know a lot of people, I've seen a lot of comments more recently than ever of people getting impatient, people, you know, wanting the squeeze to happen right away. And I think I have some things to offer you guys if you are in that boat. As well as that, I do want to go over this CEI situation. What did happen with this stock? Some lessons you guys can take from this as well as how to prevent losing money with big momentum trades like this while also still playing the stock at the same time so that's what we're going to talk about in this video hopefully you guys get some value out of this video and if you do drop that like on the video consider subscribing to the channel comment down below by doing all three of those things you help push this video out to even more people and help the ape movement more than you even do realize so first thing i want to talk about is going to be the more brief one is cei and what has happened with this situation and we're not going to get into the whole short seller report you guys have already seen that i'm sure with plenty of videos I do want to talk about Zach Morris, the $10 price target, why this is not a good thing to put price targets on a stock, but it really shouldn't matter at the same time. Why I say that is because I don't care what kind of track record you have, and you guys can see right here, uh, this Zach Morris has hit 10 out of 11 trades, with most of them going up over 500%. It does not matter what your previous track record is, I am not going to believe any price target. I'm going to come to my own conclusions what I reasonably think could happen. Now, I do understand a lot of people that, that follow Zach Morris, the, a lot of people that are involved in these trades, they're not big money. Big money is not playing CEI. You guys already do know that. This is really a pump and dump scheme at its finest. I'm sure the executives, people in the company, were the ones that caused the massive drop that we did see today, down over 50% on the day. So it's not smart money that is playing this. It is retail investors. So it's really a ticking time bomb. When the basically the floor is going to fall out when the insiders of the company are going to start selling their shares and getting rich point is here though i trade these stocks and here are some quick lessons never listen to any one price target i don't care if it's amc i don't care if it's a penny stock just like this and second and third you have to have your own trading strategy what i like to do especially with risky stocks like this and especially if you're buying a stock when it's up 100 percent in a day is say taking a out, you are willing to lose that you won't miss sleep about you won't even think about same way that I trade options I would never you know put money into options that I couldn't afford to lose everything that is really the the best way to trade these also what i will do sometimes is take let's say a couple thousand dollars i will buy in in the mornings when i can confirm it's going to be a strong day you see the volume the technicals they're all looking good for a breakout i will buy in say early earlier in the morning and then i will sell out say come two o'clock i will take the spread in between the day i will essentially scalp the trade i never want to stay in these overnight if you had done that last night or yesterday i should say you you know would have lost as much money as you would have today the stock dropped 50 percent and then if you want to i don't trade like this if you want to have a stop loss that's never a bad idea as well but you just want to win more than you ultimately lose when it comes to these trades over time if you win more times than you lose you will still be positive so that is the quick lesson that i could give you guys here don't matter what anybody says price target for anything never believe it come to your own conclusions have a strategy on how you are going to trade this now i want to take some time to kind of address the impatience that i have started to see in a lot of apes down in the comment section of these videos as well as other videos as well and obviously impatience that is human nature people are impatient i am the most impatient person that i know not when it comes to investing and with stocks it really comes down to your conviction i'm literally impatient about anything i want to buy a house i want to buy a car i want to do something do this i want to get it done right away impatient i want it to come to me right away so i totally understand it it's taken me years to master the art of being 
patient. Like Warren Buffett says, and I say this all the time on the channel, the stock market is simply a tool used to transfer wealth from the inpatient to the patient. That is the best example of AMC. And quite honestly, when people ask me in real life in Discord on YouTube, is AMC going to short squeeze? My answer will always be, I know it's going to short squeeze. I don't know when it is going to short squeeze. We can only speculate and estimate on that, but I know it's going to short squeeze. With all of the due diligence, with the strong community, with the short interest continuing to go up, with the short thesis continuing to being crushed on AMC, all of this leads into my conviction on the stock. I have never been more convicted on AMC, truthfully, than I am right now due to all of those facts factors. But what it really comes down to as well is my whole portfolio is not an AMC. So I don't have my whole livelihood on the line when it comes to AMC. It's a significant portion of my portfolio. Yes, I got in a lot lower. So if I were to have the same amount of shares that I have now, I would have to, it would probably be damn near my whole portfolio. But that's really where the impatience comes into play. Either you have way too much of your portfolio in AMC, and I'm not telling you guys to, you know, buy, sell, or do anything else, or what, uh, you know, percentage AMC should be in your portfolio. That is totally up to you guys. But it comes down to you probably have too much AMC in your portfolio, or obviously you just have not mastered this emotional uh, technique, I should call it. If you buy a stock, this is the way that I think about it. If I buy a stock, I don't sell it. I don't care what it is. I still have NEO. And I I like the company, but Chinese investing is not going to be too pretty for a couple of years. But am I selling my position? I have not sold a single share of NEO. I still have 100 shares of NEO, $5,000 that have been sinking away almost every day at me, but I don't sell stock. That is a good habit to be in because over time, stocks will rebound. Uh, well, at least what history has shown us, if you bought the S&P at the low points, you would all always return a positive result. Now, AMC is going to be a little bit different after the short squeeze, but talking until the short squeeze does happen, I think right now is a great time to buy. And you really need that mindset. If you buy a stock, you're going to hold it. I don't even care what AMC does on a day-to-day price action. I want the stock to go down because I want to acquire more shares and not hurt my average cost too much. Yes, I still bought shares at $37 just last Thursday when we did start to go up. I bought shares at $37, about $1,000 worth, which is, you know, different, differing from people to per people that wasn't a huge amount of money to my portfolio but still i'm still buying shares at 37 dollars per share because my conviction level is so high and on the other hand if you knew amc was was going to squeeze if you really have conviction it wouldn't even be a question of i just want this to happen you know i i'm getting impatient i'm going to sell out like i've seen some people say they've sold out then you really never had conviction in the trade and that's something that is very important that you need conviction in your trade now as far as what amc is possibly going to do next to be quite honest with you guys it's pretty much 50 50 but it's not at the same time on a technical basis the chart looks 50 50 we're at almost 40 dollars per share we could gap up we could gap down amc is being very resilient we're not seeing big gaps down to the upside we're not seeing big moves to the upside but it's going to revolve around the overall markets and i personally believe the markets are going to be choppy so i do think amc is likely to go down in the next coming weeks until we do see that short squeeze if the markets do ultimately go go down say 20% we're we're like right on the edge of a short squeeze the big guys they're not going to have enough liquidity to stay in their short positions and just like we've seen with the rally in June this did not cause the shorts to cover in a significant way the short interest went from 20% down to 14% 6% of the short interest was covered only 25% of the short interest was actually covered those were the smaller hedge funds maybe some of the middle range liquidity hedge funds that were over leveraged that were forced to cover if the markets had been selling off and at the bottom back in June we would have seen the MOAS back in June there wouldn't have been enough liquidity for the big hedge funds to stay in their short positions so 
It's really a tricky dilemma here. If we go up, we go up. If we go down, we go down. We're getting closer to the short squeeze. But what you guys really need to master is your emotions behind investing. If you are maxed out on AMC, if you have, you know, 80% of your portfolio in AMC or 95% and you don't feel comfortable putting more money into this, which, I mean, I, I, I want to say I don't blame you, but I blame you because AMC is by far the most... Uh, opportunity we've seen in a long time to be quite honest with you guys but try to just buy more stocks or do something to get your emotions off of it what i personally do is keep about 10 percent of my high conviction trades about 10 percent of my portfolio just so if it goes up 10x that's 100 percent of your portfolio that will you know make you massive tendies but at the same time you don't risk losing the whole bag i'm not comparing that to amc but you really have to like i said just come come to your own conclusions how to master your emotions i'm very bullish on amc i'm not selling a single share i'm going to continue to buy more shares i want it to go down so i can buy more shares so this is not by any means a bearish video about amc hopefully you guys understand that hopefully some of you some people take these videos out of context but it you shouldn't be in the trade if you're losing sleep if you're super emotional oh, that's just unhealthy on a physical level but hopefully you guys understand the value that was provided to you in this video hopefully it does help you guys make a better decision next time whether it's cei or whether it is continuing to hold on to your amc positions and really taking control of those emotions so that is going to be all for this video if you guys want to help push this video out that is on you drop that like on the video uh, subscribe to the channel hit that comment section let me guys let me know what you guys think about this video it's late sorry guys i cannot talk but that is going to be all for this video if you guys do want to join the buy and sell alerts join a great community we talk stocks all day long i send out my trades in real time every time i buy or sell stock options or crypto whether it's a day trade swing trade or longer term investment check that out it pays for itself over and over and over again so that is all for this video you guys take care i will see you in the next one